Hello again everybody, Daryl here with RV Adventure TV. Today we're going to do part two of the uh, Global Power Equipment Champion Generator. This is the 3100 max watt, 21, or 2800 rated watt. The model number is 75537i. Uh, we're going to go into part two. I've had it for a while. I'm going to give you some updates on it. So stay tuned. Come on back. See what we got. All right, this episode, what I'm going to do is I've had this for almost a year now. We've used it approximately two months uh, with the uh, uh, RV powering uh, Maddie's needs. Uh, we're getting ready for our fall run back down uh, to uh, Louisiana. And uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and service this. I want to change the oil and check everything out and make sure she's all ready to go. It's been sitting approximately three months. I drained all the fuel out of it. Uh, so it's just been sitting uh, idle. So what I'm going to do is I put a gallon of fuel in it and I'm going to uh, uh, try to start it for the first time. I turned the power switch to on. Okay. I've got the uh, ignition switch here to on. I'm going to use the remote start. This is the remote uh, Champion 75537i, not just the manual start, which you can use manual start out here. You can pull start it or you can hit the ignition switch out here. I'm going to use the remote because we love to use the remote, turning it on and off from inside the camper. So let's see what happens when I put a gallon of gas in. I ran it completely dry when I, before I put it up. So let's see what happens. I'm going to hit the start button. And let's see what goes on. Isn't that something? Amazingly, it started right up. Starting right up the first time. Got a green light out for output. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run for approximately three to five minutes in the, in the service manual it tells you all what you need to do to change oil and all your maintenance stuff on here you know it's a no-brainer just follow the instructions I'm gonna let it run a little bit warm up the oil and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I drain the oil and what you do how you refill it so that's very impressive after sitting up three months completely run out of fuel one time with the remote she started right up I'm still impressed with this unit. We're going to let it run a while. We'll come back. Change the oil on it. All right. What we have done, we have run the uh, generator for approximately four to five minutes. Warmed it up, warmed the oil up so the oil will drain out uh, in a fluid motion so it's not all cold. I'm doing this at approximately 70 degree temperature uh, today. So we've got the oil warmed up so it'll drain out. I've got the, uh, uh, the switch to off and I've got the uh, ignition to off so I don't absolutely bump something or you know don't want to come on uh, while I'm changing oil. I'm going to go ahead and shut the gas off because I'm going to be moving it around. So let's get to uh, changing the oil. Now this unit weighs approximately 90 pounds. But it's got two wheels on the back. You can move it around pretty good. I can anyway. Back cover, two screws up here. Undo these two screws. There's your access panel. This access, uh, gives you access to your, check your oil. Right here is the nut for the drain. Here is a little flapper. Give you a close up view. 
checking your oil, draining the oil, and this little rubber flapper will let the oil drain out so it just doesn't run all over everything. Okay? Now I checked the oil before I started it, just like you should always do, just like our dads always taught it to. I, since I chained this oil back in Louisiana, it hasn't burned a drop. And we probably used this uh, on the way up to the Northwest probably, I'm guessing 50 hours. So I'd like to change my oil in this generator about every 50 hours. The more the better. It only takes 0.6 quarts of oil and a 10W30 is what it's recommended. There's a chart in there if your temperatures are warmer or colder, but really 10W30 uh, gives you a good range to run this generator on. So let's go ahead and change the oil. This right here, 12 millimeter socket. I got an extension on there. It seems to work better. You can get in here and get good access instead of trying to get your wrench in here. So there I got it loosened. Now what I'm gonna do here since I'm limited of where this is going to drain out, I'm going to pull it off the end here. And what I have done is I set me up a little container with some oil uh, absorbent rags so it'll absorb the oil. I don't have a catch pan, so I'm going to use this and I'll be able to dispose of that properly. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do um, by myself one-handed and see how much of a mess I don't make. Again, this thing is heavy. I'm going to have the heavy end down here because this is a stator end. But I'm just going to balance it a little bit. I think we can make it work. So there it is about right. Get my bucket under there. I'm going to take out the drain plug. Unscrew it. It's a long-winded thread, uh, threads on it. and it's draining right in the bucket. Give you a show here. Hang on, go for a ride. There it is draining right down into the bucket through that little hole there. Okay. So we're gonna let that drain, get all the oil out, be right back. All right. We have uh, got all the oil drained out. I'm gonna go in here and make sure I wipe everything down. If you get a little oil on anything, you don't want any oil residue in, in here at all. Uh, one, it'll attract dirt and dust. Two, it keeps your unit clean. And also, as we all know, it gets hot in here. We got oil out there, may have a chance of fire. So let's keep everything clean as we can. All right, fantastic. I did loosen the uh, the dipstick so it could get air in there. Drained out really well. All right. There's the bolt that came out. It has one little washer on it. I'm gonna put the washer back in. All right. We're gonna screw that tight. Since this down, just like that. Torque it down where it won't come loose. Then what you do is you fill 0.6 quarts of oil right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna get me a funnel so I don't get any mess anywhere. It's got a little tube that'll run out here, a little catch pan. You wanna make sure you don't get any oil anywhere. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna fill it with oil. And we'll see what we'll start it back up all right we filled it back up with oil our drain plug is tight filled it with oil here fresh oil i always believe good maintenance prevents future breakdowns good oil this is the full marker all the way up to here and we are at full 
So let's go ahead and start this thing up. Let it run. Check for any leaks, which there shouldn't be any. Make sure we wipe all the excess oil off, keeping it just as clean as possible. One, for your benefit, and two, again, if you ever want to resell it, want, you want your unit to look nice, somebody can see that it's well kept forward. All right, so we're gonna turn the switch to on. Turn the power on. Hit the remote button right here. Let's turn the fuel on. All right, here we go. Push the start button one time. So far, first time, every time. Gonna let it run for about a minute. And as, as you can see, we're standing right next to it. And I think you can hear me pretty good. So for a quiet running generator that puts out 2800 amps, or excuse me, watts, and 3100 max, this is a pretty good little unit. It's got the economy mode, and it's got the mode that you can run it all the time. Just remember, look back into my earlier video we did on this. This will take a travel trailer, or I call it a travel trailer, but it's really a TT-30 male plug. It has a, a female built into this, so you don't have to just run it off a 120 volt regular extension cord. You can hook your 30 amp TT-30 power cord directly into this and have 30 amps. That's what I liked about it. Alright, now all you have to do is just hit the stop button. She shuts down automatically. See no leaks anywhere. Let's check the oil again. Just a habit of mine. We used to do it in cars when you change the filter and everything. You always lost a little bit. Clean it off. Screw it back on. Guys, if you're looking for a generator, again, Champion didn't pay me anything for this generator. I bought it on Amazon. Again, this is a remote one, so it was like about $950. There we are, all the way up on the full. So we're good to go for at least another 50 hours when we set sail for the Pacific Coast on the way down to Arizona for, for this fall. We hope you join us on that trip. Then all you do, make sure everything's good to go. One last inspection. There you go. I didn't put the little rubber plug back in the bottom. Just pops right in there and lays there. Do one more clean of everything. Make sure she's really good and clean. Put the lid back on. And just screw it down. Get your screws snug, don't have to over tight. You're still dealing with plastics here. Again, this generator holds 1.6 gallons, it roughly runs eight hours on one tank of gas on econ uh, economy. So there you go, oil change on the Champion generator. We hope you enjoyed this. Look for uh, future videos coming out. We're going to do some other stuff with the, the RV. Again, Maddie's sitting over there, ready to go, getting her all tuned up. Going to show you some stuff on some auto leveling. We're going to go into some discussions on uh, the uh, auto level on it, the windows, and a few other things. So. Join us next time for RV Adventure TV. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can get all our videos. Kim's probably in there cooking us up something for her next Cooking with Kim video. But uh, subscribe and just remember, stop the madness, start the adventure.